Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. So today we're going to be on the vaulting and doing a custom fan cover on the 1970 XT. I've got the power color hell rendition of the card. I can tell you guys the results are absolutely insane. So I do recommend you guys watching through the whole video. I didn't make it that long because I wanted you guys to watch the whole thing. So make sure when I'm showing you guys the fan cover and everything, please make sure to watch the whole thing because I do say a lot of uh, stuff that might be important for you guys and it might save you a lot of time. So I do recommend watching that. And yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Right guys, to so do that on the vault and the fan curve that i've done in the video you're gonna have to turn on the adrenaline software so press alt r and you're going to be presented with this screen go to performance go to tuning go to custom enable all of these and this is my on the vault guys so this on the vault might not work for you i had the 1970 xt before that i tried this on the vault on it didn't work so you might need to you know go maybe minus 50 minus 30 it depends on the card every card is a bit different but the max frequency i put a 2750 uh, this is what worked for this gp for the other one didn't work sadly make sure to put the power limit down as well so that's basically the thing that gets you know, it goes from 320, it makes it go to 220. And over here, guys, you got the advanced control. So this is where you do the fan curve. This is the default fan curve. I do have a profile, guys. I do recommend you guys to do your own profile because if you have MSI Afterburner or something else enabled, it will just override this. So it will just delete it. So make sure to get your own profile like I have done. It will delete it, guys. So generally make sure anything, even GPU tweak or everything, just have it turned off and make sure to generally have that profile uh, backed up because it, it does delete it if you do have it on. It's a bit of a bummer, sadly, but it does have uh, this issue where it does just override it. So this is my profile, guys. So I'm going to show you. This is how you import it. So you basically have to locate where it is. Here's my one over here. So under vault. You have to press proceed and then of course it will proceed with it there it is it's not the best fan curve i've ever done you know it, was, it literally took me like two minutes to do literally even less like it was a quick one it was a really quick one you can you know take your time with it i'm just showing you guys what's possible what temperatures you can get so but this is just you know the one i've done you guys can do a different one also the temperatures will vary depending on your room temperature your case and everything like that so keep that in mind guys you might need to do a more aggressive one or even you can do a 1300 could be even the stock one could be good for you it, it really does depend on the room temperature you have and the case you have so like i said before i am just showing you guys what's possible All right, guys, let me show you the game test. So what we have is a really substantial difference between on the vault with a fan curve and the stock setting. So we're seeing like around 11 degrees difference on the GPU memory temperature, which is quite insane because these this model has been getting to like 90, 92 degrees uh, in my benchmarks and just doing the fan curve and doing the on the vault. Look how much difference that we have. Literally, it's insane. And if you guys don't want to have the on the vault for some reason, I mean, it's literally pulling 100 watts less, but for some reason, if you don't want to do the on the vault uh, if you just keep the stock sands and you have the fan curve in my situation i was getting four to five degrees lower memory temperature so that's a pretty substantial difference as well and you know that's just literally pulling the thing down on the gpu fan curve and it's so easy to do literally like like i said before it took me like two minutes even less than that to do so it's such a simple thing to do it does so much so yeah i would recommend it completely guys and i'm really happy that this did such a big improvement because you know i was thinking there's some memory issues with this card in, in the sense that you know it's not using the sam i think the samsung memory has better better temperatures in general or something like that i can't remember now but either way like this this really did a big difference so uh, i hope it helped someone this video honestly i do hope if uh, helped someone if it has helped you guys please drop a comment drop a like it really helps the channel out uh, drop a sub as well i would really greatly appreciate that guys and also check out my on the vault video because i showed like the difference between you know stock and on the vault a few games not just one game like i showed here so temperature as well it's like 13 degrees difference like that is insane 13 degrees guys that is absolutely insane like just doing the simple on the vault in the, in the fan curve is actually insane like let me know your thoughts in the comments below i know a lot of you guys have been telling me to do a custom fan curve the only reason i 
I'm not doing this because, you know, I keep changing GPUs. It doesn't really matter for me, literally. But if someone has this one GPU in the PC, you know, doing this fan cover is absolutely amazing to do. And, you know, doing the undervolt as well. So, right, guys. So, we at the end of the video. Like I said before, this is just insane. Like, 13 degrees on the core less. You know, 11 to 12 degrees on the memory temp difference. Like, this is just insane, guys. Honestly, please drop a comment, like, sub. You know, the comments really help a lot. Like, literally, when you guys drop a comment, it just boosts the video so much. So, yeah. I don't want to make this video any longer than it is already. It's not really that long, but I, do, I did want to make it short, you know, not to drag out too much. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.